Microsoft 365 Business Standard or Microsoft 365 Business Premium? That is a question that I get asked quite a lot. What are the differences between them? And is Business Premium worth the extra money? Well, that's the topic for today's video. But before we start, a quick introduction. My name is Jonathan Edwards. I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. My IT company helps clients with their IT support and the cyber security. Now, do me a favor. If you get any value from this video, please subscribe to my channel. Let's get into the content. Now Microsoft 365 Business Standard and Microsoft 365 Business Premium share a lot of great features. They both have a 50 gigabyte mailbox. Now this is a big mailbox. How big is it? Well, for example, in my own mailbox, I've got over 200,000 emails and the size of it is only 13 gig. So you've got plenty of space to keep your emails. Now with both products, you also get one terabyte of file storage in the cloud. Again, lots of space for you to hold your files and folders. With both standard and premium, you also get access to Microsoft Teams. Now, Microsoft Teams is a brilliant collaboration tool. And if you've not heard of it, then you must have been living in a cave for a few years. But price-wise, Microsoft 365 Business Premium is 40% more than Microsoft 365 Business Standard. Microsoft 365 Business Premium is $22 per user per month. Or if you're in the UK, it's £16.40 per user per month. Now, these are based on an annual commitment. You can commit monthly, but you'll pay more. Now, if we look at the Microsoft 365 Business Standard, that is $12.50 per user per month, or £9.40 if you're in the UK. Again, on an annual commitment. So with Business Premium, you're going to be paying 40% more. Is it really worth 40% more? Well, yes, I think it is. Microsoft Business Premium has six additional features that aren't included with Microsoft 365 Business Standard. And in this video, that's what we're going to talk about. So without Without further ado, let's get stuck into the content. The first feature I want to talk about that is available in Business Premium is the online email archive. Perhaps you're a hoarder of email. Maybe you've stored the last 30 years worth of email in your mailbox. Or maybe you need to archive email for compliance purposes. Well, with Microsoft 365 Business Premium, you can just do that. You get 1.5 terabytes of online email archive. So you can archive until your heart is content. The next feature I want to talk about about is all about security. Now, I make lots of videos on my YouTube channel that talks about IT security. It's so important in today's age. And Microsoft 365 Business Premium is packed full of security features. The first one is called Defender for Business. Now, Defender for Business includes antivirus, anti-malware, and ransomware protection for your computers and laptops. This kind of security product is exactly what your business needs. Now, you can use third-party products instead of Defender for Business. You could use Sophos or Heimdall, but a great proposition that Microsoft 365 has is that you can manage and report it all from your Microsoft 365 admin portal. You've got one pane of glass, as you call it, and you can manage all your IT from within that pane of glass. Another great security product included in Microsoft 365 Business Premium is a product called Defender for Office 365. Now, earlier in this video, we talked about your mailbox. And included with the mailbox is a product called Exchange Online Protection. It helps protect you from spam and viruses. Well, Defender for Office 365 builds on that. It's advanced security software. It includes lots of great features, including safe attachments and safe links. Now, safe attachments is a product that scans the attachments that you receive by email before you actually get them. If any of those attachments are deemed to be dodgy, then they'll be stripped from the email and you won't receive them they'll be quarantined. Now, safe links is similar to safe attachments, but yes, you've guessed it. Instead of scanning attachments, safe links scans the link against Microsoft database. And if that link is deemed to be dodgy, you won't get the email. Microsoft Defender for Office 365 also includes advanced protection against phishing attacks. Most cyber attacks start from some kind of email attack. So Defender for Office 365 is a bit of a must. Another great feature of Microsoft 365 Business Premium is that it provides all the licensing if you decide you want to use an Azure 
Virtual Desktop. What's an Azure Virtual Desktop? Well, Azure Virtual Desktop is a full cloud desktop in the cloud. You go to a web page, you enter your username and your password, and a full virtual desktop launches. It has all your applications installed, it has your email, it has all your files and folders. An Azure Virtual Desktop is ideal if your company wants to embrace a bring your own device policy, or if you just want to simplify IT and IT management. You can do all that with Business Premium. Now, when it comes to virtual desktops, the actual resource isn't included with Business Premium. The actual RAM, disk space, and processors needed, just the licensing. Another fantastic tool included with Microsoft 365 Business Premium is Intune. Now, Intune is a bit of a beast of a product. So what can it do for your business? Well, here are a couple of real life examples. So firstly, you can use the power of conditional access policies. You might decide that you don't want anyone accessing your company data without multi-factor authentication enabled. We can create a conditional access policy that dictates just that. And if people haven't got multi-factor authentication enabled, they ain't getting access to your data. Intune can also help with corporate owned smartphones. Intune integrates with people like Apple and Samsung. So for example, you could ship one of your new employees a brand new iPhone, still in its box, still in its wrapper. They would unbox it and they'd switch it on. Then they would get a corporate branded screen that would walk them through setting up the phone. It would have all your security policies on, it would have all the applications that that employee needed, all with the power of Intune. Now Intune really helps with a common challenge that we see with a lot of companies these days, and that is people who want to use their own devices. We've got several customers and they employ consultants, so they don't work for them, they work for lots of different companies. Our clients don't necessarily want to buy their consultants a laptop just to work on whilst they're doing work for the customer. And the consultant doesn't really want two or three laptops either. So what can we do? You don't really want your data on a laptop that is used in other companies. Intune can really help here. Intune would only manage the apps and the data on that device that belong to you. It wouldn't manage any other part of that device. You can also create other policies that stops these people from copying and pasting documents from your storage to their local device, for example. So people can use their own laptops and still you can be confident that your data is secure. Now, these are just three examples of how Intune can help your business. There are so many more. Hmm. I feel another video coming along. The final great feature of Microsoft 365 Business Premium is Azure Information Protection. Now, what on earth is Azure Information Protection? Azure Information Protection simply controls access to your information and your data. It allows you to classify your information and your data based on sensitivity. And from there, you can control access to that data, even when that data is offline. Again, what are some examples of how this could work in your business? Well, firstly, you could stop people forwarding certain emails. You could stop people printing certain documents. You can hide a certain part of the screen if someone decided to do a screenshot. You can set permissions on files even if they leave your network. For example, if someone had a really important file on a USB storage device, you could set permissions on that. So if that USB storage device was lost, whoever found it wouldn't be able to access the data. So there you have it. Microsoft 365 Business Premium is packed full of features. Now you get a lot with Microsoft 365 Business Standard and it's 40% cheaper than Business Premium. Is it worth it to upgrade to Microsoft 365 Business Premium? I think it is because security is the key component of Microsoft 365 Business Premium. And in this day and age, that's what your business needs. Now I really hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you again soon.